Hello and welcome to today's video. Today is my June wrap up. Now, not gonna lie to you, June was not a productive month. <laughs> I know that seems to be the case like every month so far this year. It's just I can't seem to get into, um, I can't get any momentum going with anything this year. I don't know. We'll blame it on COVID because starting the year with having it twice. Yeah, that kind of killed my mojo, you know, for getting stuff done. So, and I'm, I'm still struggling to, to actually do things. So yeah, June, not very productive. I read one book, just the one, which was The Perfect Ten which is this one right here. Um, not bad, not bad. If you like polo, then that could be one worth checking out. Didn't know anything about the story myself before reading this. So um, it was a kind of a different spin on the usual murder mystery type books that I read. Overall, it was quite good though. Um, I will link up somewhere to the review that I did for that so you can check out all my thoughts about it uh, there so I won't go into that in more detail there. but that is it that is the extent of my reading I did start reading um, and I mean by that I've literally read just the first chapter of um, this one right here like I said I only just started reading it so I haven't really got into it enough to actually tell you anything about it yet um, but it's promising. It's one that I got on NetGalley, which I've been wanting to read for a while, so um, finally getting around to that. Now the good thing is that the perfect 10, that was, that gets me my 10 for my clock reading challenge, and it was also on my NetGalley TBR, so at least I have made progress with both of the reading challenges that I'm doing this year, even though abysmally this month I just ah oh, I just haven't got anything done I don't know maybe it's good here in Rome it is like ridiculously hot already like end of May we were already kind of like July weather um, so like right now it's like 38 degrees plus humidity so it's yeah and it's only the beginning of summer so whilst I'm used to these kind of temperatures in August, I'm not used to them this early on. So um, yeah, it's and that's kind of killing some productivity and things as well. Plus obviously the kids are off on their long summer break and so um, doing things with them and, and everything it takes away um, some of my more productive time. Um, in a separate, Thing. I'm not doing the blog audit challenge this year as an official challenge if you are interested in doing it then you can find previous years with various different tasks to go through and things you can find them over at jolienstar.com I will link up to those um, for you as well um, but I am continuing to do a blog audit challenge of my own anyway because I'm constantly going through my website jolienstar.com um, and updating older posts and things like that, trying to work a little bit more, uh, maybe tweaking headings, subheadings and things like that, making sure I've got my meta descriptions and everything, my alt text for images and all those kind of technical things to help with the SEO. I am still working on that, even though I'm not doing the official challenge this year, um, it is something that I am working on. Um, anyway, so I've been, doing a little bit of updating and uh, things on that as well. I'm also trying to create more um, varieties of pins for the blog posts that I do and scheduling them for Pinterest and things because last year I found that was um, a very uh, good way to get more traffic to my site and things. It seemed to come across uh, quite well and then obviously because I was ill and everything I kind of dropped off of everything um, so now I'm trying to get back into it and trying to schedule 
the things that I can schedule as well. Also, because I'm very aware of the fact that um, scheduling in advance is my winning strategy because the consistency is like a huge game player um, for the algorithms, just like in general. And it also gives me that peace of mind that should I get ill, which is something that I do quite often, <laughs> um then it gives me that little bumper that i know i've got some stuff already set up and things but also um not just because of illness um but also with my kids and things like i said it's the summer break we have like a huge long summer break here okay so the kids are off from like the 8th of june until i think it's around the 13th of september this year so like mid-september anyway and so that's a long time um to be on summer break, basically. And so, um, trying to fit in some beach days and some other, yeah, I don't know, being tourists maybe in Rome as well, because we live here, but um, don't really do the touristy stuff when you live somewhere. So, also making sure, you know, the kids get to know the center of Rome as well as the outskirts where we live. And, um, yeah, also trying to organize some other stuff and meeting up with friends and all that kind of nice summary things as well. Um, so yeah, that is basically um, what I've been up to uh, this month. So there you go. Um, questions for you this month. Is it hot where you are? How do you maintain being productive when it is super hot weather um, because <laughs> literally I just want to like lie on my bed with a fan on me um, and yeah what, what again, have you guys been reading did you have a productive month of June or did yours kind of suck like mine and <laughs> you didn't get anything done um, also when it comes to auditing your blog like how often do you go through and update all the posts and check for the SEO and things like that. I'd be curious to know um, your thoughts about that as well. And uh, also, yeah, have you taken part in one of my blog audit challenges in the past? And if so, would you like me to do a new version for next year? Um, I would love your feedback on this. Um, so anyway, that is my June wrap up. Like I said, not a lot to say this time. Um, Hopefully July's one will be a little bit more <laughs> dense in uh, in content. But um, there we go. That's it. We're rolling with life. But anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you've liked this video. Um, please click the subscribe button so you don't miss out on new uploads. And give this video a like if you've liked it because it all helps with the algorithm. Anyway, that's it from me today. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.